Um, you know, I think that if, if every time you read something that you've written, you, you're not really asking yourself what's broken here, uh, there's not really a good way to then try to, to fix that in, in future writing. So I think one is that you go back and you look at your old work and you go, okay, if I were doing this all brand new today, what would I have done better? It's trying to learn new things, going back in and being critical of my previous work and surrounding myself with people who are willing to give actually well thought out constructive criticism. Those three things have worked together to help me be a little better at everything. So I think imposter syndrome is very real in the author community. And I think that it's because a few things. One is that unless you are, you know, Stephen King or Neil Gaiman, you know, or somebody who's had immense fame to come and tell you that you've done a good job, um, there's not a really good feedback that the goalpost of what success is as a writer is so personalized and individualized um, that it's hard to even know when you want to say, oh, that was a win for me. Um, and so I do think that having other people around you um, and other indie authors who are going through the same thing or are trying to do the same things, um, who will be open and honest with you about what they think about your work um, I think that that can kind of help me. Why do I prioritize my sitting down and my sometimes staring out the window for 20 minutes trying to think of yeah. something to write? Why am I prioritizing this over all of the other things in my life that demand my attention? Um, and, and so that is the step one in this imposter syndrome battle is just picking yourself and your writing um, over the myriad of other things that you should be doing.